today, Grimdark Future, One Page Rules. Get ready. Hello everybody and welcome. Today, the 1000 point battle of Grimdark Future by One Page Rules. We're going to be facing the War Disciples versus the Havoc Brothers of the 13th Crusade. To introduce our armies, first, the Havoc Brothers. What are you bringing? Um, Havoc Champion with close combat weapons and a heavy rifle. Uh, and he'll be joining the Havoc Support with close combat weapons. Uh, heavy machine guns and missile launchers. Um. It looks like you have some <laughs> Havoc Raptor. Hello everybody and welcome to We Roll Dice. Today we are having a 1000 point battle of Grimdark Future by One Page Rules. Our armies are the War Disciples versus the Havoc Brothers of the 13th Crusade. So, for army introductions... We have the Havoc Champion with close combat weapons and heavy rifle, and he'll be joining the Havoc Support with close combat weapons, heavy machine guns, and missile launchers. Then we have uh, the Havoc Bikers with uh, twin heavy rifles, heavy pistols, close combat weapons, the Infernal Brute with Stomp, Brute Hammer, and heavy fusion rifle, and then the Talon Raptors with close combat weapons and heavy pistols. Fantastic. I mean, I just love this old school model. And for the War Disciples, we have a War Champion, and he will join a combined unit of war berserkers, all equipped with heavy pistols and close combat weapons. The war champion himself has the warlord gift of war trait. Then we have a war infernal brute armed with its stomp and two brute flails. And then rounding it out, two more units of war berserkers with heavy pistols, and close combat weapons. This should be a bloodbath. A fast and furious thousand point. Okay, so we are playing on this wonderful battlefield, map provided by Table War. We're going to be playing the basic mission out of the basic rules. There's going to be two plus a D3 objective markers and whoever controls the most objective markers at the end of turn four wins. All right, roll. Let's see how many objective markers we have. Oh, it looks like we're going to have five objective markers in total. Two plus a D3. Okay, we will be right back after they're set up. All right, so objectives have been placed. We have one here by where all the ammunition and oil drums are. One here on this side of this factory. Another one here on the other side of the factory. I think that factory front must be a very important location for some reason. We have one at this crossroads because crossroads. And then one right close to the edge here, which is also close to this deployment zone. So we have... That one's fairly close to the deployment zone, and so is that one. So it'll be very interesting. All right. So we're going to roll off to see who gets to pick deployment zone and deploy their first unit, and also we'll get to go first. Okay, so for the War Disciples, we got a four. And for the Havoc Brothers... We have a one, so the War Disciples will choose first. I think I'm going to choose that side, and we'll be back after deployment. All right, deployment is done. We have 
a unit of war berserkers up here, ready to storm forward, take whatever objectives, possibly take out some enemies. We have our war infernal brute here. Again, we have three objectives right here, so we want a good strong presence. We have our large unit of 10 war berserkers here with my war champion, Ken the Untrustworthy. Just in case we want to uh, take any of those objectives and put a good strong presence dead center of the board. And our last unit of five war brothers here. Then for the Havoc Brothers side, we have Infernal Brute holding this flank all by itself. A couple objectives here. Uh, with the 18 inch shooting from its infernal gun there, it should, should be able to hold those two objectives. We'll see. And if not, we have the war bikers, I believe they're called, oh, sorry, havoc bikers here taking on, uh, so they can scout any direction here, take off. And then we have our support here with our Havoc Champion already with their 30 inch range in range to start laying waste to those War Brothers. Okay, so our first turn. I won the roll off at the start, so I will be going first. I think what I'm going to do is move this unit up, come up here, get as close to the objective as possible. Okay, so here we are, we've moved up within three inches of this objective, and I have claimed it onto Havoc Brothers' turn for their first activation. Alrighty, these guys are going to move, and they're going to shoot. And they get to move eight inches because they have the fast ability. Who are you planning on shooting at? Those guys over there. Perfect. Okay, so you normally have a quality of three, which means you need a four due to me being in cover, and mm -hmm. you get six shots because you're not within 12 inches to also shoot the pistol. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that means uh, three of those hit. I have a defense of three plus. So one goes down. Okay, uh, no quality check needed because it's not 50% of the unit. Okay, back to the War Brothers turn. I'm going to move my War Infernal Brute up 12 inches to take that objective. To show who has what objective, using our bottle caps here, the top side of the bottle cap would be the War Brothers has control, but if it's flipped over to the bottom side of the bottle, bottle cap, then that means that the Havoc Brothers have control. So currently, War Brothers have control of two of the objective markers. Still a long game, still a long game. All right, now the Havoc Brothers. My support and war champions are going to hold and fire everything at your war infernal brute. Okay, good job. So hitting on threes, I have no cover. Okay, so these are the heavy machine guns first. They all hit. Heavy machine guns are AP one. So normally a two up save becomes a three up save. All right, so I take two. Damage. All right, now you want to fire off your missile launcher. It's a single hit. Or sing, single roll, yep, go ahead. Okay, so that hits. And that is a deadly three, but it also has an AP of two, so I need a four here. I don't get it. So five damage in total so far. And now lastly, you have one shot with the heavy rifle from your Havoc Champion. That's a six, that hits. AP one, a five will save. But five damage so far on the Brute. So I am down to seven in total. 
Good job. Okay. Be back with the War Brothers. Okay, so this unit of War Brothers is going to advance six inches and see if I am within range with their pistols to shoot at those bikers. Okay, now, am I within 12 inches? Let's see. No, no, and just outside. All right, they will live to drive another day. For the Havoc Brothers' turn. We are going to move the Infernal Brute, and then we will move him up, and then he is going to use his heavy fusion rifle and he's going to fire over a All right, you want to give me a measurement, see if that's within 18 inches? Okay. Oh, yeah, no yeah. problem. No problem. Okay, so that's a single hit at AP4, deadly 6. If this works, it's just going to melt one of those guys into the ground. So that is a hit because I don't have any cover. So on a 6, 6 saves it. Oh, my goodness. He brought his microwave safe underwear to the battle today okay are you within three inches of that objective marker let's just check for you you are just within three so that becomes the havoc brothers objective okay so with one unit left here i think i'm just going to advance up six inches Maybe I'll advance, advance, just to get like a, a bigger presence there, but nobody really to shoot at at this turn. My war brothers moved up, as well as my war champion, to that objective. And at the end of turn one, the war brothers control one, two, three objectives, whereas the Havoc brothers control just the one objective, but still have a very strong presence in the midfield with the bikers and the brute. One war brother was taken out of that unit by those bikers, and we still have the Talon Raptors to come on at the start of a future round. Start of turn two, Havoc Brothers get to go first because they finish their activations first at the end of turn one. What are the Havoc Brothers going to do? So, my Havoc support is going to hold and fire at the War Brute. Okay. Try and take him out, eh? So, you have your heavy rifle from your leader you're going to fire first? Yep. Okay, go ahead. That's a hit. AP1. That's a save. Okay, so now you have your two, um, two heavy machine guns and your missile launcher. May as well roll them all at the same fire time. Together. Yeah, these are, these are all hitting on threes. Okay, so remove that one. There you go. Okay, so for saves, we are threes for the black dice, and we are fours for the gray dice. Here we go. For my saves. Ooh, okay, so the rocket launcher goes through. Missile launcher goes through, sorry, and it has damage two. So I am down to five wounds left. That just made him angry. Okay, so in retaliation, these war berserkers, they're going to advance six. There we go. And now easily within the 12 inch of those, I'm gonna fire off their pistols. I was just outside of 12, so I couldn't make that as a charge. Anyways, here we go. Four pistols hitting on threes. Ooh, only one hit. Okay, so you're going to be saving. Uh, these are heavy pistols, so you're saving on a four. One wound, but they have tough three. All right, so we've gained control of that objective marker. Now, who on the Havoc Brothers is going next? Bikes or Brute? Uh, brute. Brute, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna move up six and then I'm gonna shoot at one of these guys here. Excellent, all right. 
and you're definitely within your 18 inch range. So go ahead, hitting on threes. That's definitely a hit. Okay, so I can only save on a six here because of AP four. And there's another six, excellent. That, that microwave proof underwear is really paying off. Now the War Brothers. Yeah, no objective over there, but I wouldn't mind getting rid of those guys while holding this. So these guys are just going to move, move. They're 12 inches. Make for a nice charge on the following turn. So my Havoc Bikers are going to move eight and then they're going to shoot over at yours there. My War Brute, okay. Yes. So we're going to move these back. Eight. And that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, because he's taking the wound. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Okay, and you are, you are well within your 24 inch range there. So two shots each gives you six shots. These are hitting on threes. On threes, ooh. Only two hits. Okay. AP one, so I'm saving on threes. I save both of them. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and for the War Brothers, uh, due to knowing that you still have those Town Raptors to come in, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a double move to go to there so that I'm hopefully within charge range of both objectives just in case those raptors drop down on them. And the last unit to go of turn two is my War Brothers, my large War Brother unit here with my War Champion. So I think I'm just going to have them move up into this area as well so that they are within charge range of two different objectives just in case I need it. Pretty much I think I've lost those two, but as long as I can maintain these three, I think I should be able to hold and win the game. We'll see. All right, so start of turn three. War Brothers have one, two, three objectives, four objectives. Havoc Brothers just have the one. On turn three, are you bringing in your warp talents? Nope, not this turn. Okay, what is the plan? for the Havoc Brothers, first activation of turn three. So my Havoc support is gonna hold and shoot at your uh, War Brothers. My War my war Berserkers, yes. Okay, excellent. So um, first of all, you want it's, so the entire unit is shooting or are you gonna split your fire and take a rocket into him? I think I'm just gonna uh, have them all shoot. At just the try and annihilate that unit, okay. So let's fire your heavy rifle first, eh? Hitting on threes, missing. Okay, so now you have four shots, or sorry, six shots with your heavy machine guns, right? Because I believe that they are attack three. Yes, they are. So six shots. Okay, those are hitting on threes. Okay, so, and they are AP one. So I'm looking for fours. So one of them goes down. Okay, and now you have the missile launcher. So it's a single shot. Hitting on threes, missing. I lucked out. All right, I wouldn't be the war dis disciples unless I did at least one charge. I know you're within 12 inches. So these bad boys, they're charging. Okay, all right, four of them attacking on the charge. So due to Frenzy and Furious, they get plus one attacks. So that's giving 12 attacks total and they will all be at AP one. So hitting on threes, Ooh, a lot of ones there, a lot of ones there. Not a great roll. Okay, so these are AP one, so you're saving on threes. Saves every single one of them. Okay, so attacking back, the Infernal Brute has 
Four attacks with the stomp. So here's the stomp, hitting on threes. Ooh, okay, and the stomp is AP one. So saving on fours. Ooh, two, go down. Okay, and now you have your Brute Hammer, which is two attacks. And these are Blast three. Okay, so they both hit, So um, and then Blast three. So there's only two models, so each of them would hit me twice. So now I roll my save, and these are no AP, so on three ups. And that wipes the unit. Good job. Okay, so now you can consolidate up to three inches. Up to three inches. Excellent. A little far there, but that's excusable. There we go. And to check, yeah, I think you're within the three there. Okay, excellent. So, you have captured that objective. Okay, now my Havoc Bikers, they're going to hold and they're going to shoot and try and take him out. Oh, at my war, my war brute there, yeah. my war infernal brute. Okay. All right. So, so go ahead, six. so that's six shots. These are hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. so those ones are okay, so those all hit. These are AP one, so I need threes. I'll save. Excellent. Okay, the War Brothers don't like all this shooting, this cowardness. So they're going to charge this support unit. There we go. This guy move in, and lastly. All right, so. Okay, so the War Berserkers hitting 12 attacks, hitting on threes. Again, that's decent, that's decent. Okay, so these are AP one. So go ahead and roll those and you are looking for fours. So it looks like Two failed. Okay, so that's two guys gone. Which two are you taking? Taking out a machine gun and the other heavy machine gun, leaving the rocket launcher. Interesting choice. I respect that. Shout out to Jay. Okay, so are you attacking back? Yes. Okay, so let's go with your, um, bring over your, your sheet there so we can see everything. So let's go with your um, Havoc support first. So with the close combat weapon, he gets one attack. Hitting on threes. It hits, no AP. Saving on a three. And so now your Havoc champion has a single close combat weapon. So go ahead, this is also hitting on threes. Yes, hits. And this is no AP, so saving on threes. Also okay. saves. Decisions, decisions. What to do with your infernal brute, eh? Doesn't want to get too close to this big death mob. Because that one there, you'd be looking at uh, 33 attacks hitting on twos due to the special ability. You're pretty so... deadly in melee, but... I don't know if you're deadly enough for that. I'm just going to move 12. Just going to move 12 over yep. to there. Okay, get yourself some uh, some better views. Okay. All right. Okay, so for my last activation of turn three, that big blob of War Brothers, I think, is just going to... I think I'm just going to hold. I'm just going to hold in with that there and that there. When you bring in those Talon Raptors, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Morale test for this unit here. So roll a quality test. So a single D6. Try and get at least a three. So you are okay. 
So since I charged, my unit has to move back away from you an inch. There we go. All right, start of turn four. The town raptors have dropped in, which flips that over to the Havoc Brothers controlling it. So currently the Havoc Brothers, in a twist on turn four, control one, two, three objectives, whereas the War Disciples only control two. However, you can see what happens here. There's, there's a lot of ifs and maybes. So the Havoc Brothers get first activation of turn four. Havoc Brothers first activation. So we got those dropped there, but you're deciding to go with the bikes I'm first. I'm going to go with the bikes and I'm going to go after him. Okay. So firing all six shots. Okay. Lucky dice. Hitting on threes. Come on. So that's three hits. Yeah. Oh no. Does that want to hit? Yeah, yeah. So that's four hits. AP one, so I need threes. One wound. So he is down to four wounds. My activation. I think Mr. Warbrute here is going to see if he is within charging range. Yes. It's going to charge your talons. There we go. And then you do your move to get as close as you can. And there you go. So let's see what kind of damage he can do here. So let's start with the stomp. Four attacks. These are hitting on threes. Yes. So three of them hit. All but one. All but one, yes. These are AP1, so go ahead and roll. So you need fours. So two of them are down. There you go. Okay, so now we will go with his two flails. So these are four attacks each. Four and four. He also has the Furious trait, and the Furious says plus one. So we got one more attack with one of those flails. So here, oh, let's grab another dice, and these are hitting on threes. Ooh, there's a lot of misses there, though. Okay, so these flails are AP1, so you're saving on fours. On fours. Come on, come on. Ooh, not bad, so that's only two. Okay, so two more are gone. Okay, do you want to attack back? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So you are attacking with two attacks. There you go. And you are hitting on threes. Okay. And these are no AP. So saving on twos. I save. Okay. So I did more damage than you. So you need a quality test. And your quality for these guys is a three. Go ahead. He is fine, stands brave in the face yes. of his enemy. And now I have to move back one inch away. So now this one objective, we're both within three, so it is now contested. Okay, so I'm going to move him. 12 inches. Your infernal brute? Yes. Okay. So he's going to move up 12 inches. Excellent. Get 
Because he wants to take that over. Uh, are you within three? I believe you are. You could have slid just slightly that way and, and being within three. Yep, just barely. Excellent. Okay, so this now becomes Mine. yours because I... I believe, anyways, that I am further than three inches. Yeah, just. Okay, excellent. And since you, yeah, that was a 12 inch movement, so there's no shooting involved there. So it'll be these guys go. Okay, let's see if I can take it to squad. So we're gonna charge. There we go. Four guys with Furious and Frenzy. So that's uh, 12 attacks. Hitting on threes. Okay, go ahead. Those are AP1, so you need fours. I need four of them to fail here. One, two, three. Oh, so. Your rocket launchers, your missile launchers gone. And then two wounds onto your war champion. So your war champion is sitting with one wound remaining. Do you want to attack back? Yes. Okay, so that's two attacks. Oh, I lied. I'm sorry. Oh. It's only it's only one attack with yours. The war champion has two. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong page. One attack. Missing. Okay, so now it's a quality test because I did more wounds than you. So you're looking at a quality of three. That's a two, so he's oh, routed on, off man. the board. And now I get a three inch consolidation. Doesn't really matter because I can't get close enough. So we'll just slide up as such. Dang it. Excellent. So I think there's only one unit left to go. And that's this unit. And I have to deal with that because currently you have three objectives. This one's contested. I only have one. So I need to get over here and take that from you in order to tie the game. But if I can't take that from you, then the mother-daughter team of the <laughs> Havoc Brothers ends up winning on this family day battle of grim dark future all right here we go 12 inch charge going on here so we can make it there get some good surroundings going on we'll be back after i move all the models all right so that unit went up there we're looking at 33 attacks due to furious and with frenzy and all the rest of the fun there so these are all hitting on twos as well because of the gift of war uh, from my champion, the hero in this unit, get plus one to hit rolls when fighting in melee. So here we go. So 33 attacks hitting on twos. All right, let's pull out the ones. Okay, so um, yeah, that's uh, 30 of them hit. And these are all AP1, so go ahead and reroll those. You need threes. It's a lot of dice. It is. I need bigger hands. There you go. So saving on threes. Okay. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You are dead. Twelve wounds. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So gone, and this becomes my objective. And that's it for our game on this family day weekend of Grim Dark Future by One Page Rules ends up in a tie with two objectives by the Havoc Brothers and two objectives by the War Disciples and one remaining contested. Hearty handshake, Yay. thank you very much. Hearty handshake, thank you very much for the mother and daughter team. We Generally, tied. you tied. Excellent, good job. Until next time, just have fun with it.